Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi from vlemon.com and I'm back with another e-commerce admin panel tutorial series video and in this video we are going to learn about how to create our development environment. Let's start and create our development environment for Mac. For our development environment, we require PHP and MySQL. For this, we are going to install XAMPP. Why XAMPP? Because XAMPP is available free of cost and it is available for Windows, Mac and Ubuntu. So this is my Mac machine and we are going to refer this blog post. And this blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can check this notification icon. For download XAMPP, you need to scroll. So this is the installation step for Mac. And for downloading XAMPP, you need to visit apachefriends.org. I'm going to click on this URL. And this URL is going to redirect you on apachefriends.org download page. For Mac download, you need to scroll. So this is the download URL for Windows. This is download URL for Linux. And finally, download URL for Mac. So I'm going to select this option 7.2.3 PHP 7.2.3. I'm going to click on this download button and our download is started successfully. Wait for the download to complete. Finally, our Zen installation is downloaded successfully. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to double click on this to launch. I'm going to double click on this icon to install Zen in my Mac. Ignore this warning. Click on open. If prompt for password, provide your username and password. This is the welcome window for setup wizard. I'm going to click on next. I want to select every component. So that's why I'm not going to uncheck anything. Then I'm going to click on next. So this is the installation directory for our Zem. I'm fine with this. So I'm going to click on next. Okay. I don't want to explore more about bitnami.com Zem. So I'm going to uncheck this checkbox. If you are not going to uncheck this checkbox, once the setup is going to complete, then this setup is going to launch this URL. So I don't want to know more about this. So that's why I'm not going to check this. I'm going to click on next. So this is the summary. Setup is now ready to begin installing XAMPP on your Mac. Click on next to start the installation. Wait for the installation to complete. Finally, the setup for XAMPP is completed successfully. Now, if you want to launch XAMPP control panel, you can click on finish. And if you don't want to launch XAMPP control panel, then you can uncheck this checkbox and then you can click on finish. Okay, so this window is no longer required. So I'm going to close this. Let me click on clear. And let me close these two tabs. Okay, so our XAMPP installation is completed successfully. Next thing, I want to know how to launch Zem. For this, I'm going to open my finder. And then I'm going to click on applications. Then we need to search for Zemp. Zemp. And here is our manager OS X. I'm going to double click on this icon to launch XAMPP manager. Okay. If prompt for password, provide your username and password. So this is our manager OS X. Just here. Let me minimize this and let me minimize this also. So this is XAMPP control panel. From here, you can manage the servers, manage XAMPP server. Okay, so right now Apache web server is running. So let's check. I'm going to open my Safari. And then I'm going to simply type localhost. Okay, so this is XAMPP dashboard. XAMPP comes with PHP MyAdmin. So let me open PHP MyAdmin. So let me change my URL and I'm going to delete a dashboard. And instead of dashboard, I'm going to type PHP MyAdmin. Okay, right now 
our PHP MyAdmin showing lots of error. This is because right now our MySQL services are not running. For this, I'm going to open Manager OS X and then I'm going to select MySQL database and then I'm going to click on Start. MySQL services are started successfully. Let me select my Safari one more time and this time I'm going to refresh. And this is our PHP MyAdmin. Now, finally, if you want to stop services, then you need to select the required service and then click on stop. And similarly, similarly, if you want to stop Apache, select Apache web server and then click on stop. So this is the steps to download and install XAMPP in your Mac. In our next video, we are going to learn about how to configure XAMPP for our development environment. In our next video, we are going to create a virtual host. We are going to create a local website for our development. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on subscribe, share it with your friend, provide your feedback and see you all in next video. Some important viewers.